competition. So what, what is it? It's a photographic contest. But uh, it's a bit of a misnomer because there is, we, we do have, we will encourage people to contribute media of some sort. So if it is a, um, if it is a, an interview or an audio file or a, um, a video, we also would probably accept that. So where is it? It's continental wide. Um, for the moment, we are um, planning to run it in Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, Ethiopia, Malawi, South Africa, and Uganda, but that's only because we have some kind of leverage in the area. Um, <laughs> but we would like to, we would really, really like to ask people to really run with this um, and run, get a lo local group together and, um, and encourage individuals to contribute. Um, if there isn't a local group, we're also happy to accept contributions from people, you know, from individuals who don't have, who somehow find out about it. Um, but it's obviously to get the word out, it's better to have a local group driving it. Um, and we want to, to do it in October and November. Um, and at the moment, there is a continent, we're looking for sponsors for a continental prize. Um, but if you feel it will help to drive a, a local, to have a local prize, then I will kind of leave that up to you, I think. Yeah, that decision. If, if you think it helps to have a local kind of national prize, then that's also in line. So it's kind of based on, the whole idea is that it's based on Wiki Loves Monuments. I think the success of Wiki Loves Monuments has um, astonished pretty much everyone. But I think also the limitations of Wiki Loves Monuments is that once you photograph the monuments, there's, you know, there's only so many sunsets you can put behind it, or like lighting conditions. So, you know, I'm, I'm not making fun of like the, the craft of photography, but snow, it does limit snow. Africa is a bit of a difficulty. So, it does limit that kind of idea. And so, yeah, and also the list of monuments and the requirement for freedom of panorama and all of those kind of elements that also legally bind and structure, structurally are difficult sometimes to come past. Um, so what also we thought about was quite nice is that every year we can dedicate to a theme. So that it becomes, every year is interesting. So it could be, and we don't want to prescribe what kind of theme the, the community comes up with, but for the beginning we decided let's do something universal. So something universal like cuisine. You know, we all eat, we all need to know where the food comes from, sometimes you don't want to. We all enjoy food, so I think it would be, and it's, a, it's culturally very specific, but it's also a global, universal um, practice. So um, what we thought could be contributed, we don't want to just plates and plates of food, what we want is basically the subject matter around food and cuisine. So, markets, traditions and rituals, um, food production, uh, supermarkets or informal traders, um, various, you know, um, community drawing mar markets or like hipster markets, whichever, um, growth of ingredients, processing, consumption, and whatever you think is relevant to the theme, but obviously within reason. I got some um, photos from, I extracted some photographs from Commons um, around just to show kind of some of the richness of the, the things that we're kind of expecting. But of course, I don't want to be prescriptive. So, um, and I will add the attributions after. Okay, just to clarify everyone, I'm not trying to take this on. So, plates of food, but then also production, food security, markets and please get involved um, register your country on Mecca, Me Mecca, Meta, <laughs> sorry, and um, contact us if you want to have more detail. Okay. I don't particularly want, I mean, if you want to ask questions, but it's, for, you know, it's there, the information's there and we will let everybody know more about it as it comes. There's a question there, because I don't know where the microphone is. Yeah. So much. Um, I, I know it's, it's still evolving right now, but 
do you guys have a, um, a time frame? Like, so, and, and, um, so, so like Wikilove's monuments last from September, doing the whole in September. Um, do, do you have a time frame for this one? It will function in a similar sense, or will also be similar to October, November, I think. Um, this year? This year. So October, November this year, with maybe either December or January announced, you know, the collection. So, yeah. but we also don't want to get into like a gala dinner and you know flying people all over the world. We just want to, we'll, we'll probably do an online gallery and have quite a, you know, and then potentially do a, an exhibition and send it to the participating countries so that there's like a you know a travelling exhibition rather than have a Makes sense to leave it at all of uh, Wikilove's monuments. Well, I think it confuses things. I think okay. if you're, you know, I think by all means, we're not trying to replace Wikilove's monuments, and I think Wikilove's monuments does an incredible job. I really think it's a, you know, awesome way of bridging the divide between people finding a way to contribute it, to break down that barrier. Well, that's just not what I'm asking. Uh, yeah, no, I know, but I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, we're not trying to replace or, but I don't, also don't want to necessarily be. So that's why we chose something that's not building related or vista related or, you know. It could also be confusing for the media, for example, when we display the information, like they might be confused if they are two countries that are running at the same time. But we trust there are some countries who want to be involved in the development. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so. Any other questions? Recipe uh, licensing alongside it, or do something, uh, do something along with it. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks very much. Anybody else? Okay. And then I thought before we got into like the nuts and bolts of closing and summarizing and doing all of the, that kind of official stuff, that um, some people only only some people saw Yolanda's um, Wiki Cameroon videos, so I thought it would be good for people to see it again. And it had a resounding kind of positive um, thing, so here's your language for that one. Just to get a sense of what they say, because it's in French, so not for everybody is understandable. So it's always a little scene that people say, uh, do you know Wikipedia? Do you know what Wikipedia is? And uh, the person responds, in this case they say, ah, it must be the, the sickness there. And, uh, and then you see a little scene that describes the sickness, and um, and then uh, it shows uh, back to, uh, to what Wikipedia really is. And the other video is about uh, what is Wikipedia? Ah, it must be a new dance. So then I'll let you enjoy the videos. Is that the other? Maybe for those of you that didn't saw the video before, um, the video will be broadcasted on television uh, in Cameroon, and the target is uh, uh, people in Douala in particular. So the distribution will be focused on Douala, and they're being produced by a, a filmmaker from Yaoundé, uh, the capital of Cameroon, and uh, the film director and the script is by Mike Ebaka, who is a, 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 an artist and video producer in uh, Cameroon.